making this video particularly for the wood gas builders, people who want to use wood to generate electricity or drive a vehicle or whatever, make it out of wood gas. Uh, the main thing I think when you before you ever start building one you have to decide what materials you have available that you can use in the wood gas to, to generate uh, something that you can uh, there's a lot of products out there you can use wood of course uh, in different forms some people are using it in pellets some are using it chips I started out years ago about five years ago I guess and back then all the talk was about using chunks and so I developed my wood gas generator using chunks of wood this size. Well I now have my gas fire running, I put 25 on it, not a big deal, but I've always said that the minute I get that thing to run on it, then I've got to work on a way of creating the product to use in it. This is, this is a sticker, as you can see. Here's a piece of bark on it that uh, is now dried up. This is what I get from my brother-in-law. And if I can just chunk these up real easy, I can do it. So I read everything and looked at everything, and I decided that Wayne Keith had the best setup. And so I tried to duplicate that here. Uh, tractor, but I don't have an international rear end. But my tractor happens to be an international. And so I've made my whole chunker out of this international tractor. As you can see, I've got the back end up on jack stands now, and I've got the wheel off. I don't have to take the wheel off. I can chunk them without the wheel, but I know how some of you people are very safety-minded. I'm a little bit crazy the other way. I hang it out. Uh, so I took the wheel off in this case so that you wouldn't get concerned. This is made out of a rim of a semi truck. It's a split rim with a flat base and uh, you can see down here at the, at the bottom bring this around there now that that would look pretty much like a flat base rim and uh, come there. I've cut that on a diagonal like Wayne said to do, and then I I fastened it to the wheel of my international here. Uh, it fit pretty nice, and four bolts hold it on. There were already four holes in the. Uh, hub or the yeah the hub so it worked out very nice and then I of course had to build the anvil that uh, that the knife comes up against you have to make the back part the anvil very strong. There's a uh, naturally there's a pushing force because we're actually shearing it instead of sawing it or anything. There's a heavy pushing force to the left, but there's also a very strong twisting torque. So you have to have this. And I I designed this up, and like everything else I do, I designed it. I tried it. It broke, and then it became a design by evolution. Uh, I had to uh, put a lot of braces and uh, beef it up behind so that it wouldn't twist and wouldn't bend. Okay, so now...
so there it is. Uh, if you're looking for a way of making chunks, uh, this is this is pretty good. This is what we just got out of there. Of course, like I say, you got to have a source. I had a source for stickers. And that's what I've planned on doing ever since I started this program. Uh, if you cut logs, then you've got to have another way of making them. But this was happened to be mine. And so thank you for looking.